Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to Suburb Suburban Farmers video vlog and the rabbitry and all the rabbits. Everything's going good. I'm gonna put some more. Uh, sorry if I'm a little bit shaky. I'm trying to try out this new new tel uh, foam mount to do videoing with, and uh, it seems to be that it helps but again doing everything one-handed kind of tricky so this is what I got here this set up for the fan there go. put two fans on for extra cooling one's automatic one's not so somebody asked me what was the funny story that we had so we're looking at the breeding program for this year and we're trying to get set up and uh, everybody's a little bit lazy today. Jo even Joker's lazy. Hey, bud. So we're trying to get set up the, the breeding plan that's going to start in a couple of weeks. So we're looking at the rabbits. Sherman, you okay, bud? Sherman, are you okay? Huh? Are you okay, buddy? What's the matter? Don't be digging at the ground. Well, why are you eating dirt? That's the damnedest thing, eating dirt. Are you a dirt eater? Hey, Jeremy, what are you doing? What's that? What's that, eh? Friggin' dirt eater. Quit eating. Get out of there. I don't know why these dogs do it. Anyway, so we're looking at this rabbit. And, uh, I'm looking. We had the rabbit in the back corner, and I'm thinking, my gosh, there's an awful lot of pea spray on the wall. Like, where could that be coming from? And I just washed it all down. So I can't show it to you. Not that you like to see it anyway. It was just stains all down this corner. Because we had that rabbit up there. In this spot. Okay. And there was spray all over here. And spray only comes from the males. So I'm thinking. What is up with that? Because I was down here getting the feed. So. Look at these guys. Aren't they great? Just beautiful friends. I'm telling you. So I'm like, okay, let's get back to this. And I'm said, you know, you got to look at it. So I take the rabbit, pull it out. We flip it over. And Jake says, oh, God, what's wrong with this rabbit? Well, I said, Jake, that's a nutsack. That ain't a female. And you guys know in the heat, the rabbits get shrivelly nutsacks and they hang out. Looks terrible. Looks like a car accident or something. But anyway, uh, the female is actually a male. And he's almost a twin to Dan. This is Dan over here. And yeah, we're going to name him Bob. So we got Dan and we got Bob. So yeah, one less female. But uh, it's another one of those hot days. I'm hoping the summer breaks soon. I'm, I'm ready for fall. This has been enough. It's been a month solid. This hot weather. So we got Buck Buck. We got Bob. And we got Dan for chin males. Um, and we got Kathy. She's, she'll be ready to breed again. We got to get rid of these guys. So if anybody wants a New Zealand uh, cross and these get big folks these are big rabbits let me know you're in Ontario we'll set you up now we got sweet Dorothy she's a real good girl she's a good mommy and Greta she's the mom of these guys here she's just a doll aren't you baby a little timid but she's uh, not a problem at all you can touch her let's go inside the cage with her Maybe yeah, it's okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah, you can get right in there with her. She's good. So that was it. Jake, uh, when he did the trade for that female, quote unquote, he didn't even look. So the moral of the story is, or what we can get out of that, you got to turn them upside down, friends. You got to take a look because you don't know what you're going to be getting. 
but he's in contact with the owner. I think they're going to work out some sort of a deal. Because um, we only have, what do we got here? Just two breeding chin females. But that being said, that being said, this girl here, we're going to breed her. And I got one other one. We got this one here. So, and she's a good girl. And she's a good girl. She's a little bit smallish, but I'm not sure. Um, she doesn't got really great chin colors, but I like her. She's just such a great rabbit. I mean, this thing would be a beautiful rabbit. God, like its demeanor is just unbelievable. I mean, super, super, super good rabbit. Super nice. And she is just a little bit skittish. She's just soft. Her fur quality is amazing absolutely amazing I mean you wouldn't believe how soft this fur is and she doesn't get touched enough so she's a little bit nervous she kind of sits back here I'll bring her out one day and we'll do a video with her and she's just a great rabbit uh, no aggression she usually comes up to the cage yeah. I'm oh, sorry about that friends it banged the microphone off the cage I really like her She's a good rabbit. And this one here, she's not too bad. She's really taken off. We had her paired up with another rabbit. And uh, you know, she's used to being handled a bit more. And she's really getting, get that nice roundness. I don't know if I can get her into the shot. Come on, come over here, honey. Yeah, she's got that nice roundness to her. Look at that. I like it. Right there. No hollow spots. Got the nice rings in the fur. A decent, decent rabbit. So she might be kept as breeding stock. I'll talk to Jake. We'll have to give her an A. You know. Um, that's Daisy. The other one, her, uh, her next door neighbor. That was Daisy. So we gotta get. We might keep her. For, she'd be good breeding stock. She's got that right side. She's still young though. She's got another couple of months anyway before we can breed her. And then this gang here, we gotta get rid of these guys. These two boys gotta find a home or they're going to freezer camp. And this group here, if uh, we grow them out, they may be headed to freezer camp as well. And the, uh, the, white, the white New Zealand crosses. So we got a bunch that could be heading to freezer camp. We're not sure yet. And that's to the processors. So. Because again, we are a, we are multi-purpose operation. I'm not gonna lie. We can sell for pets. We can sell for for consumption, uh, dog food. We can sell wholesale to restaurants. So anyway, that's where we are. I thought I'd bring you up to date about the male, the female, male, the gender issue that we're having on on the farm, uh, on the suburban farm. I couldn't believe that we have, we have a gender gender identity issue going on. Yeah, it's the uh, I don't know, the male that's, that identifies as a female. Yeah. Anyway, sorry for that, friends. I had to throw that in there. Really, thanks. Thanks so much for subscribing and all you guys that have been hitting us with uh, comments and questions and all that stuff. That's just fantastic, man. That, that, that's what we're looking for is a lot of uh, interaction to, to keep the channel alive, to keep it afloat. Sorry, let's get turned around here. So that works better. There we go. So it's not all white balance and crazy. There you go. You learn something. So my face faces the light. Camera faces me and we get a better shot. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you soon. Thank you so much for all the support. We've surpassed 300. I believe in subscribership. I have to check that to make sure. And uh, I can't say I appreciate it enough. So remember, subscribe. Ring the bell. And hit that like button. We need the likes. We need that interaction. So that's just a short little 10 minute video. And uh, yeah, so trans or gender issues in the suburban farm. Who, who, who knew, eh? Who'd have thunk it? We'll see you soon. Bye now.